So for this video, I just want to talk about what are your guys' current opinion on Doom Eternal after hearing all the news we've been getting from E3. I was originally going to talk about how Doom e Eternal wasn't going to include traditional deathmatch, but I just don't like reciting the same amount of information, which you can find online. I basically did that for Snap Map, but Snap Map is really big um, to me. I've invested so much time into it, and it's definitely one of my favorite, like you know, modes from Doom Eternal. So I felt like you know I had to make that video about you know the whole confirmation of having no um, Snap Map in Doom Eternal because that was like a huge slap in the face. I'm not really a big multiplayer guy compared to campaign or snap map, but I still want to make a video based around this whole topic of having no um, traditional multiplayer in Doom, Eternal, in Doom Eternal, and this video is going to be that video. So let's get to it. Obviously, the lack of traditional um, multiplayer or deathmatch or whatever you want to call it is definitely crappy news and I'm sure for people who actually liked it Doom 2016's multiplayer probably didn't like hearing that news. And we all know that Doom Eternal is abandoning a lot of its foundations from 2016 because only the campaign is going to survive in Eternal rather than Snap Map or multiplayer. I personally don't like this idea. I feel like games should tweak um around them instead of like you know abandoning certain modes they've debuted for example look at halo 3 odst which was the very first halo game that that introduced firefight and if you're not sure of what that is firefight is basically like a horde like a um, mode for the halo games and after halo um 3, 3 odst bungie released halo reach and halo reach didn't abandon um firefight they simply tweaked it I feel like Doom Eternal should have done that for the game's multiplayer and snap map, but for whatever reason, they decided to pull the plug on those modes, which is a shame because to me, abandoning features from a previous game just doesn't feel right, especially this is the second modern Doom game we're getting, and it's just coming out three years later after 2016. I know people who got to play the demo have said many great things on the camping which is you know something I like to hear but I can't help but, but just feel disappointed with the overall game um, package it seems like we're just getting campaign and battle mode which I stated many times that it does seem cool but I don't think it should be a replacement for multiplayer in IGN's article they've quoted Marty Stratton's comment that the multiplayer in Doom 2016 failed to give players the Doom Slayer experience and they're trying to do that with battle mode and that's the problem multiplayer to me should never ever be similar to you know campaign i play all my games differently when i play single player versus multiplayer i play quake differently when i play single player i play it more slower if that makes sense but in multiplayer i'm definitely a lot more jumpier because i'm constantly bunny hopping or strafe jumping and there are certain weapons that i want to have um during you know I mean during uh, me like running around the arena or the map like I want to have the rocket launcher I want to have the lightning gun and rail gun but in campaign it really depends on the maps because look at Quake 2's earlier maps you don't have access to weapons like rocket launcher or rail gun I really don't know what to say about battle modes since it seems like it's trying to please the single player guys to play the multiplayer but <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work because, like I said, man, you know, multiplayer and campaign, they're, like, they're always gonna be two different animals. It doesn't matter, like, which genre or what game it is, like, people are always gonna, like, have to play them differently. And, and like I said, man, you know, it's, it's not gonna be the same compared to, like, playing campaign. And I don't know if battle mode will please fans of multiplayer shooters too because I'm sure a lot, a lot of people who enjoy Doom 2016's multiplayer aren't going to try it out because it's definitely not the same. I just hope QuakeCon doesn't rip it a new one because I'm a big Diablo fan and that Diablo Immortal announcement was absolutely terrible and I doubt, I doubt its software is going to get trashed by their fans as bad as that but I just feel like there are people who might want a more traditional deathmatch experience from Doom, and QuakeCon is a place where you are going to bump to a lot of people who are enthusiastic multiplayer gamers. So I'm just hoping the QuakeCon guys won't rip on its software and Doom Eternal for not having deathmatch because I think a lot of those guys they might see battle mode 
as a gimmicky feature, and if that's the game's core multiplayer mechanics, they'll be unhappy. But we'll probably get more news about battle mode and multiplayer when QuakeCon comes around the corner. But so far, I'm just disappointed with the overall direction of Doom Eternal. The campaign does seem awesome. I mean, yeah, it does seem awesome, but I just don't like how a lot of its foundations are being abandoned. I wish they could have just tweaked things, you know? Like, I think it's possible to add a four-weapon mechanic because I get why they went with two because of the limited con controller configurations and I understand they want players to be able to play the game without the weapon wheel slowing it down because if the weapon wheel slows down the game it would be tedious in the multiplayer setting because everyone is, is constantly getting s slowed down because someone is using their weapon wheel and it could be manipulative too if you think about it we can probably discuss a lot of this in the comment section and of course snap map had a great run you know, it might have disappointed players at launch, but I think after all the updates, it's definitely capable of creating quality experiences. And I wish we could get a snap map with more enhanced features and backwards compatibility to give new players or returning players a better impression of snap map instead of snap map during the launch days. I wanted Doom Eternal to keep all of its components from 2016 and fixed upon it and perhaps add a brand new game mode or something that can keep players interested. Just imagine how great Doom Eternal would sound on paper if it didn't abandon so much of its previous features from Doom 2016. But oh well, dreams don't come true I guess. Basically, I'm disappointed with the direction of Doom Eternal, but that doesn't mean I'm not looking forward to the game. If the game's campaign is truly spectacular like Doom 1 or Doom 2 level of quality, I might forgive Doom Eternal for the lack of deathmatch and snap map, but I'll wait till the game comes out before I give my actual opinion on the game and its overall content.